Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and here we are in Physics Surgery Originals as I have promised in the previous community post I have brought forward to you a question from electrostatics. Okay, so this is a question wherein we are having a dipole which is placed between two infinitely large conducting grounded plates, right, which were initially neutral and uh, due to the asymmetric positioning of this particular dipole, we are supposed to calculate the induced total charge on each of these plates. Okay, so it will reveal certain important concepts that are uh, there for your IITJE. So it's a multi-conceptual question. And after the concept and the solution, as usual, we'll try to take up some practice problems to enhance our understanding of this topic. Okay, so let's move forward. Right, here's the problem statement. So if you want an un unbiased try, so I would request you to th pause the video here. Uh, give it a try for four to five minutes and do come back for the concept, then the solution and the practice problems at the end. Okay, I'm going ahead with the formal reading of the question. Two parallel thin and grounded infinite conducting plates are separated by a perpendicular distance T. A short dipole of dipole moment P is sandwiched between the two plates and is located at a perpendicular distance X less than T from one plate. The direction of the dipole is normal to the plates as shown. Okay. And the determine the total charge induced on each of the plates. Okay. So this is the question. So I hope you have paused the video, given it a fair try. Right. So it's time for us to move forward to the concept first. So before I uh, introduce you to the concept, so as is the case with the last few videos, uh, so here's the target for the next video upload. So it's either 600 likes for this video or 10 days, right? Uh, the previous two videos, I think uh, the likes won over the days and the last one, uh, the number of likes were not reaching the target. So I had to wait for the 10 days uh, to upload the video. So let's see for this one, uh, which of these two is going to uh, triumph okay whether it is the 600 likes that come first or the 10 days which will give me sufficient time to upload the next quality video okay thanks for all the unconditional support that you have been giving and uh, i hope you keep doing the same with this channel <clears throat> uh, so let's first solve for the point charge okay so even though he has kept the dipole at the um, uh, middle uh, in the actual problem so we'll start off with the uh, point charge okay so uh, as is the case with most of the time. So don't read the entire thing on your own. Just follow my voice. Look at where I'm pointing. Try to understand what I'm saying and you'll all be okay. Okay, so, so using the dimension analysis, we realize that the induced charges should be some factor times of the charge Q place. So what I mean to say here is, if Q is the only charge that is point charge that is placed in between and the field lines start going and ending on these two plates, which are grounded, so there should be alpha times Q and beta times Q where alpha and beta are some constants uh, depending on the ratio of this X versus D, right? So because it has to be a charge versus charge condition. So dimension analysis should tell you that should be a factor times and our job is to find this factor, okay? And use this slide for the next one where I'll replace this charge with the dipole, okay? So if now with that understanding, if Q were to be replaced with a infinitesimally small charge DQ, right then this left side charge would become alpha times dq and the right one induced will become beta times dq so uh, now think of many such dqs forming a uniform q distribution so in this discussion since the plates are infinitely large wherever i place this q all the flux lines that are emanating from the charge have to end on these two plates okay so if i place the charge and distribute it as dqs many dqs on this entire plane so Think of this uh, plane, which is at a distance x from the left one, as the distributed uh, charge of this Q. So if I had started with one DQ here, again, the field lines that are coming out from DQ should end up on both these plates. Okay, so imagine each of these DQs produces alpha DQs, many of them spread on this. Then I'll divide this problem into many such problems and superpose on each other. So even though the problem 
will not be the same if I remove this point charge and make it a uniformly charged plate of Q. I argue that the total charge that is induced on left and right plate in the problem that you are seeing with the point charge and the problem that is going to come out when the charge is uniform would be the same. Yes, the distribution of the total charge would not be the same, but the value of the total charge would be the same. Okay, so I'll repeat the steps. This Q, I divided them into many DQs. Each DQ would produce a individual induced charge of alpha DQ and beta DQ on the plates. And then instead of placing all the DQs on one on the top of the other to make it a point charge Q, I place those DQs on a uniformly distributed plate like this. Then some of all the alpha DQs that you will have on the left plate produce an alpha Q, which is a uniform distribution. Since in the question, he never asked the distribution uh, type or how it is distributed. He just asked the total charge. I made the problem into an easier one so that I can solve using the capacitor's logic. Okay, so now that charge Q has been distributed with your understanding as a uniform one, think of this gap as a capacitance of capacitance C1 and the right one as the capacitor of capacitance C2, right, with parallel plate capacitors. And this distance is X, let's suppose. This distance should be D minus X. Okay, so two things that you can think of is this alpha times Q should have a negative alpha times Q on this side and beta times Q should have a negative beta times Q here. So, but some of those two should be equal to the amount of charge here. So using that flux logic, some of all these three should be equal to zero. So alpha plus beta comes out to be minus one using the charge and flux understanding. You can use Gauss law also to reveal the same. Also potential wise, since these two plates are grounded, you start from here, calculate the potential difference from X gap and potential difference for D minus X gap, which is nothing but writing alpha times Q divided by capacitance C1 plus beta times Q divided by capacitance C2. The sum of those two potential differences should be zero because there is no potential difference between the two grounded plates. And C1 is proportional to epsilon naught area of the plates divided by X. That means C1 is inversely proportional to X and C2 is inversely proportional to D minus X. So if I rearrange, I'll get alpha divided by beta as negative of D minus X by X. So using these two equations and solving for alpha and beta and substituting it back in the charge distributions, I'll end up getting the induced charges to be minus of one minus X by D Q and beta Q as minus X by D times of Q. So this is the value of the induced charge if a point charge was there in the question. Okay, right. So I'll borrow this information into the next slide, the bottom equation in the next slide and uh, do it for the dipole. And dipole is nothing but two point charges separated by certain distance, okay? So that should be a simple superposition now. So you could see the thing in white here. I have borrowed those equations just for my convenience. So now that this blue colored one represents a negative charge minus Q, which is let's say at a distance of X1. And this plus charge is at a distance of X2 x2 minus x1 let's say is a which is the short distance of the dipole or the length of the dipole which i think i should get it cancelled in the final answer and also this diagram is only drawn for representational purpose so you at the start will not even know whether the left plate is positive or the right plate is negative okay so now what is the total charge on the left plate i'll think of it as two point charge problems each point charge will have this formula to contribute to the left plate okay so this minus q will go into this formula in this step you could see one minus x1 by d into minus q whereas this plus q will go into again this formula for the left plate as one minus x2 by t into q so this lot of cancellations later you end up getting q into x2 minus x1 divided by d and since x2 minus x1 is a and q into a is the value of the dipole moment, you end up getting P by D as the induced charge on the left plate, which is independent of the position of the dipole. That distance of the midpoint of the dipole to the plate didn't matter in the value of the 
charge induced and similarly on the right plate again if you use this formula for the each of the charges contribution for the induced charge on the right plate you should end up getting a negative of what you got on the left plate and it comes out to be independent of the position of the dipole so initial instinct could have been for people to think if the charge is asymmetrically placed it's not exactly at the midpoint still you will have equal and opposite magnitude charges on the plates which is a very non intuitive and interesting answer that you will get which you didn't for the point charge but for point charge you need not get equal and opposite charges for dipole you do end up getting that okay so uh, before i give you the practice problems i would request you to watch two more old videos many more are there i selected only two because i could fit two only on the page on the scaling and superposition the links of these two videos are in the description below uh, or the i button above if it is allowing two videos i'll just post it there uh, try to watch them and also maybe you can watch the videos on the electrostatics playlist which i'll reveal them later as we move along in the practice problems so you can watch them uh, if you are new to this channel a lot of intricacies and in depth analysis were done which you generally don't get in the textbooks especially at 11th and 12th level so there's something new in each video that you will learn and in case you want to connect with me in different ways so there is a discord server there's a telegram group for doubts for aspiring students and there is a website in which all the uh, videos keep getting updated every 40 days in a chapter wise manner so that gives uh, students quick revision and if you are not an aspirant and you just want to connect with me in some way or the other there is social media presence at the bottom as you could see all these three so all these six links and others are in the about me section of this channel please go there and explore uh, regarding the website this is the landing page of the website how it looks like as i said how to use this website i made a video tutorial uh, the link of that video is in the uh, description below or the i button above you can go there and explore so as expected, these are the practice problems I picked from Pathfinder. So this is the problem number one. Again, there is two parallel plates. Okay, so I'll not spoil the experience for you. Very interesting and simplistic JE level problem. Try to see it. Uh, there are some graphs also, right? So comment your response below with the timestamp. I'll come up with a solution if case, in case you struggle, okay? This is a practice problem too. Again, two grounded plates like in our original problem. Only difference is the middle one is a plate that to a dielectric. Okay, so which makes it even more interesting. And there is a displacement. So try to uh, solve this one. Uh, comment your response along with the timestamp below. Timestamp is important because once the video gets old, it will be easier for me to navigate because I'll not be remembering every inch of every video once the time passes. So this is the practice problem number three. Again, on superposition and scaling ideas. This is again from build up your understanding on electrostatics, 26th problem. Very nice one. I like this problem a lot. So try this one out. Comment your response with the timestamp below. And this is the last one right, on the superposition again and work energy analysis. Okay, again, a basic JE level question, very simplistic one, but needs a lot of attention and concept from the student. Okay, comment your response and your approach with the timestamp so that while reading and navigating through the video through this timestamp, I'll be able to respond immediately. And uh, as I said, there are a lot of subtopic playlists in the electrostatics. Uh, for each of the subtopics, I made different playlists of the old videos of this channel. All of them are in the description below. Please go through them. And in case you are new, start watching three or four videos every day, maybe in an increased speed like 1.25x and all. And so that you can catch up with the other students who have already got subscribed to this channel early and are having an edge over others. Okay, so you too can have it once you start watching videos in order. Okay, and as per the Discord server, so there is a separate electrostatics channel in the Discord server. Already Discord server has crossed 3.5k serious aspirants. Okay, so you need to keep checking the community tab for the QOTDs, which are questions of the day. I'll keep posting. So you need to hit the notification bell icon so that you can get the notifications whenever a community tab post of problems have been posted. So please do subscribe and don't forget the notification bell icon. For those who are wondering what is Discord and uh, you are beginner to that and how to use the physics surgery discord server i have made a video tutorial for the same so the link of that tutorial video is in the description below or the i button above 
please go there and explore uh, one thing is for sure you will definitely gain something instead of losing out on time which usually happens on social media okay uh, apart from the uh, present original series there are many other important series running parallelly in this channel like pathfinder olympiads aits result series and many more i wrote only four here uh, links of all the playlists of different series are in the description below so please do explore start immediately watching as many as you can so that you keep updated with the lost videos in the past okay so um, as expected uh, please make sure you do like the video liking the video enhances the youtube algorithm and ensures the uh, video reaches uh, more and more people different countries also so that uh, i keep getting motivated to make such videos uh, during my hectic schedule so thanks for watching this long and i hope we meet as soon as possible and uh, keep sharing and subscribing to the channel see you in the next one